the EFTD Group, Stephen Wolf. Lord Hill, in your opening statement, as Sven mentioned, you predicted a gloriously rosy picture for Europe. As well as being a commissioner-designate and a lord, you have now become the Nostradamus of the EU. <laughs> you predicted the economies of Europe would be in good shape. Last week, you predicted what the Queen would say to you about your oath to the EU. You have said in your opening statement that you are now predicting that the union of the fa remains a family of 28 will include the UK. Therefore, you're predicting that there won't be a referendum in the UK, or if there is a referendum, you'll be predicting that the people of the UK will actually vote to stay in the European Union. You no doubt predicted that you will be sat in this chair again today. <laughs> I suggest your crystal ball is faulty. So therefore, can you tell us whether you predict that this committee will vote for you to stay as the Commissioner? Well, with your support, Mr. Wolf, I'm, uh, I, I'm sure that the committee will reach a rational decision about uh, what they intend to do with me. Um, I, said, I said what I said about the 28 in 2019 uh, because it is my hope and indeed my belief, first of all, that there will be a referendum. Uh, uh, which is probably something that you want, although, of course, back home in your politics you try to make it less likely that there would be a referendum, uh, that there will be a referendum, and that on the back of that, uh, following uh, discussions about uh, reform and the rest of it, that the British people will have a clear choice put to them, and it is my view, as it has been for a long time, that given the choice of... Uh, membership of a strong, reformed EU close to its citizens, the British people will choose to remain in the European Union. So that is why I said that is what I believe will be the situation in 2019, because I think, while we're talking about it, that when we come to that referendum, the British people will see that the alternative to European Union membership, some of these ideas being battered around in some way you could have access, we're talking about dreams and fairy tales, access to some single market uh, on Britain's own terms, well, that uh, to me is not a likely outcome. So I think that when the argument is joined, when people hear the people in Britain, the businesses, large and small, whose livelihood and therefore their jobs depends on being part of a strong Europe in a single market, they will want to stay in.